It's been a while coming. We're extremely happy that we finally got the green light and we can move forward with the plans that we've been developing over the past probably 20 months. I think it's going to give the girls that little bit of drive and bring that passion back to, to getting to that level of football where they all want to get to but you know with limited teams in Victoria I think now they you know have got something to work towards so yeah it's exciting. So it's something that um, I'm, I'm really proud of and I really appreciate the, the board and, and Chris Palavanis of Western United who had a vision to you know, to make their club have girls and uh, females and have an A-League women's team and, and know that that was, that was going to complete the club. And until we got that over the line, it was, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a question mark that was there that we didn't want there. And we, from, you know, from, from our first, very first discussion, had a clear vision on how big this would be for the club and for the community. We've had a, um, a group of girls in our development squad training one morning a week out at City Vista since September last year. We had a bit of a break with the, the lockdown late last year, but we've been working towards giving girls an opportunity to be involved in a, in a different program as opposed to their clubs, but also to give them a little bit of a taste of what it would be like in an A-League women's environment. Can't wait to the first game. It's, a, it's a, a moment I often think about, and I can't wait to be able to show the football community what a what a good club can do for female football. I think we can get a great following. I think we can get a lot of supporters. A lot of our, a lot of our talented players are gonna come from, you know, start, starting at community clubs, working into girls' NPL clubs. There's gonna be a, a, a lot of local talent there which will bring a lot of local support, which is really important. I hope to be able to change the, to, to change the amount of people that actually go to women's games. I hope that we can get the atmosphere that we all, we all want at an A-League game. Um, I want to get that at a, at a women's game and I think we have, we have the club to be able to do it. I think the West will embrace their own women's club. I think young girls in community clubs, NPL clubs, young girls just starting, girls with ambitions to, to be A-League women's players, girls with ambitions to be Matildas are going to jump on board this, this group of girls and I, I can't wait to see how that pans out. Culture is something that um, is very important to get right from the start. I think with our, with our pool of talent out there, the culture that we're going to be able to create is very much in line with what Western United are currently doing. I think we'll be um, very strong, very fierce, very competitive, um, but you know, have that sense of community family feel. I think that's important as well. So I want, I want our girls to feel you know, that yes, this is a job and yes, this is, this is professional and this is A-League women's, but I want them to feel that this is a home and this is another family. And I think the green and black um, you know, has a strong representation in that space.